What is up YouTube, Fluttershy RLC, and this is a bit of an older video. This video is about from over a month ago, as you can tell, because I still had John Elway and Derek Brooks, and we're here in the Mile High City, Denver, and I got the cheese jerseys, and this dude's got the Broncos, everything. So we already, we can't lose, right? I can't lose to them garbage Broncos, okay? So we got to win this game. Now, don't be fooled by my opponent's top three players. This guy definitely had a better team than me, because he had elites at pretty much every single position, and at this point, um, I was I did not. I had maybe like seven or eight elites, maybe, and this dude had like at least every single position. He's got Peyton Manning, Jamal Charles. He's gonna to get the nice dump off pass there on third and inches for the first down. So he's moving the ball pretty well right now. We were trying to get in there with the blitz, almost got in there, but barely just got the ball off in time. Again, Peyton Manning. Um, you know, anytime you see someone with Peyton Manning, you already know they mean business. And already the aggressive catch. Now this dude, you guys will see it throughout the game. This guy was like an aggressive catching master. Like this guy just, you'll see it. He just like does not miss with that aggressive catch. I, d I don't know how, but he just never misses. And you can see it again right here, goes up somehow, makes that catch over um, 88 Pat Pete. Um, okay, I mean, all right, that's cool with me. So he gets on the board first. Going up uh, seven to nothing. Now we um, go off sides on the extra point. So he decides that he is going to go for two because it puts him at the one. QB sneak, pretty easy. So now we got some work to do. We're already down by eight, but we got someone by the name of Brashad Perryman. And we're, you know what? I mean, just it's going to be a long time until a card comes out that can compete with that speed. I mean, just you know, there's no. I I, I don't think there's a single. 97 speed cornerback or safety in this game so until then Perryman's going to be as absolutely deadly to deal with so we go for two ourselves and we get it right so it's all tied up at eight again here in the first quarter uh we're not even like done with the first quarter again might be a bit of a high scoring game who knows but the defense has got to lock up but uh again yeah um anytime someone's got peyton manning you know that they mean business all right because you know you don't use peyton manning just to like scramble around and cheese like most people do you use peyton manning because you're serious and you want to stand there in the pocket and throw dots and again gets another aggressive catch so i'm uh, moving down the field again and another first down this guy's moving the ball well and our defense we just cannot lock this up we're just getting beat everywhere. Once again, aggressive catches it, comes down with it. So, uh, and I'm off sides on this play, but it's not going to matter because he gets in there and scores the touchdown. And uh, so that's going to give him the lead. And uh, he's not going to go for two because we decided to not go off sides on the extra point. So now, again, we're just down by seven points. So, again, the offense, we got to come out here. We got to make some plays. And right here, I went to the well just one too many times. And DRC, yeah, this is actually Captain DRC. Wait, no, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> it's his radar gold. DRC, I apologize, but uh, so DRC gets the pick, and uh, so now that that that's not good, all right. And again, he goes for the aggressive catch. Luckily, this time he actually doesn't get it, but uh, I'm still concerned because this dude—it just seems like he always gets the aggressive catch, like right there. <laughs> so that puts him down at the nine-yard line. So we go into the second quarter, and he has a chance to kind of break the game open a little bit. That should have been a pick, and unfortunately, the other player, like, you know, got in the middle of the ball, and I wasn't able to get the pick, so that's going to bring up a third down and goal, and look at who he brings in. He brings in Tyrod Taylor, and he's going to get hit and fumbles the ball. Randy Gregory picks it up. What are you doing, Wilkerson? Stop celebrating and block that guy. Man, Gregory has, like, 86 speed. If Wilkerson would have blocked Tyler Lockett, that could be a fumble six. Now it would have been huge. It's still huge nonetheless because now we're just going to throw it to Finneran. It's two spin moves, and Brian Finneran is into the end zone for the touchdown. That was huge. Getting that fumble, getting the ball, getting that touchdown, and the two points. So now we're in the lead. We get our first lead of the game. What a crazy last, like, 30 seconds. Un unbelievable. Just absolutely insane. Crazy. He's still got uh, Tyra Taylor in the game, and we get the sack with Levante Davis. So now second on 24, and then we get the safety, Muhammad Wilkerson. This game, all of a sudden for him, is not going his way. Now we're up by three, and we got the ball. So uh, suddenly, the tables have turned a little bit. Let's see what John Elway can do facing the, his former team, the Broncos. Kind of, technically. So we're going to see what he can do. We're going to dump it off here to Giovanni Bernard. Look at these lead blocks. Look at Giovanni Bernard. It's the juke move. And little Gio, an absolute beast. Wish he still had some room on the main squad. But, um, you know, hey, it is what it is. And right here, Chris Johnson, spin move. And Chris Johnson using that speed on the screen. So now second down and nine. Just barely, 
we barely squeezed that ball in there. So third down and three. Throw it, and it's going to be incomplete. Just knocked out of his hands. So now fourth and three. We're going to go for it. Go with the screen pass, and we don't get it. Um, I don't know. I just didn't feel like a field goal would have helped us much because all it needs is a touchdown and an aggressive catch like that. I mean, come on. Like, I mean, I'm not mad that he's getting these aggressive catches. I'm mad that I would never get those. Like, just, again, I need some tips on aggressive catching because I apparently don't know how to do it. And, um, also, for all the people that are saying I was trying to be Chris Smoove in one of my videos, I wasn't. I just... I happen to say that. And then it, it, it's funny. I'm, I'm kind of rambling right now. But if you guys remember my Jared Hayne video, you guys might have. You guys might not have. But um, in the video, I think I said, like, is this a fake video or something like that? And then, like, if you look at the comments, the entire comments is, don't try to be Chris Smooth. Don't try to be Chris Smooth. And I'm like, I wasn't trying to be, man. But, um, hey, man, it is what it is. I think it's pretty funny, to be honest. Um. Anyway, so enough about that. So right before half, we actually score with Emmanuel Sanders. I was pretty shocked that we got that touchdown. So now we're up by three. We get the ball back at half. And look at this. Tavon Austin is looking to maybe give us a little bit more of a lead. And unfortunately, he gets tackled down. But still a great return out to about midfield. So now Elway back out there. Throwing it to Giovanni Brown. Look at look at this block. Look at that block. If that doesn't make you want to get Travis Kelsey, I don't know what will. I mean, just look at that amazing block by Kelsey. Getting in there with Giovanni Bernard for the touchdown. Just high octane offense. So now, all of a sudden, we're up by 10. So now th this dude's got a little bit of work to do, right? He's got a little bit of work to do. He's got to move down the field. And uh, he's got to score quick. So, but our defense has got to lock this up. He's going to be set with a third down and one on this next play. And again, Manny back to throw and almost picked by Trufant. Trufant almost got in there for the pick. We're going to, he's going to hand this one off to Jeremy Hill, who I now have on my regular team. Uh, I, I've been wanting to use him for a while. Uh, I finally pulled him, I believe, and so I decided to just, you know, put him in, use him, see how he is. You know, occasionally use him in certain situations. So, again... This dude, he's got to make a play. He's got to make it now. Gets another catch right there. Picks up another first down for him. Uh, this is what he needs to do. He needs to score quick. There's still plenty of time. He scores really quick right now. Gets the ball back on a turnover. And, uh, you know, this could be a totally different game. So this game is still not over by a long shot. But my defense... They've been pretty clutch all season, and that's a huge sack right there by Jackson Jeffcott. So now, second down and 17, Manning to throw, and that one's going to be incomplete. Third down and 17, and he can even take a field goal. And if he gets the ball back, scores a t touchdown, that's a tie game. But Demarius Randall, Scheffler star, Demarius Randall gets the pick, and he's going to rage quit. So anyways, guys, I'm Fluttershy. I hope you enjoyed this Madden 16 Ultimate Team game, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. And have a great day. And I'm not trying to be Chris Smooth.